the small speed champion sets, the last wave of six stud speed champion sets that retired in mid-2021 have actually performed pretty poorly as LEGO investments. They're not really grown in value the same way a lot of people would have expected, and they haven't performed as well as old smaller speed champion sets. So the previous waves of speed champion sets, which usually did grow a lot in value over the course of the first year or two in retirement. In 2021, LEGO speed champions went through a massive change. The cars essentially got bigger. They went from being six studs wide to being eight studs wide prices went up the number of pieces inside the boxes increased and the designs got a lot better so speed champions essentially got a facelift but what does that mean for lego investors what does that mean for the value of the speed champion sets because speed champions has been a theme that has been pretty good for lego investing it is a great starting point for a lot of people to get involved with lego investing because it is predictable if you look at speed champions they typically retire every two years and you can see exactly what's going to happen but but this change kind of threw a lot of people off when they ended the six stud speed champions and then they brought out a whole new range of them. A lot of people were not sure what that would mean for the values of speed champion sets. And what happened next was actually pretty interesting. Now, if you're new here, welcome to BrickBucks where we talk about Lego investing and the value of Lego sets going up over time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to learn all about that. And in contrast with that last wave of the small sets that retired in the mid 2021, the new first wave of the big sets has had insane performance as lego investments the values have shot up over the first year of their retirement they retired at the end of 2021 and then they grew in value throughout 2022 so let's look at some of these prices and let's see exactly what happened here and the first one we look at here is the ferrari f40 which is one of the older smaller speed champion sets that retired in mid 2021 the most important thing to remember here is that these old final wave of the smaller speed champion sets were supposed to retire at the end of 2020 they got pushed out into 2021 they had an extra six months of shelf life so usually speed champion sets retire every two years or so and these ones they stuck around into mid 2021 they should have retired at the end of 2020 so that basically gave them six months of extra shelf life and they retired outside of the regular season because usually speed champion sets would retire in december and so this was a bit of an abnormality for this final wave of six stud speed champion sets and the reason they got pushed out of course was because of the pandemic and production shortages so lego group were having difficulty launching a lot of new sets and different things so they extended the life of some other sets so these speed champion sets got extended into mid 2021 the ferrari f40 what is it currently selling at this set is selling up for 25 dollars right now on amazon in the united states you could have got it for around 12 dollars when it was on the shelves in mid 2021 before it retired it was a 15 dollar msrp on these old sets honestly that's not the best performance i expected more from this set because some of the older waves of speed champion sets they probably would have been at 35 40 45 by now on some of these uh, small 12 dollar sets that you could have picked up at 20 percent off but this one is only at $25 right now at the buy box on amazon.com. Let's have a very quick look at some of that pr price history. So here we can see the Keepa chart and I won't go into huge detail on how to use Keepa. What we're looking at here is a price chart. We can see that blue line that shows the price over time. And then where we, wherever we see this orange here, this kind of beigey, orangey color, that's Amazon being in stock right amazon themselves being in stock so we can see that they sold out of stock here in mid 2021 and then the price you know since then the blue line that's just the resellers the third party sales this hasn't gone very far during that time right this is almost two years ago now in summer 2021 when that retired and we've had a very flat line on this set now honestly as a lego investor this is very poor performance so this set did not do a whole lot uh, during that time so $25 right now on the Ferrari F40 we also have the Porsche 911 Turbo 3.0 now this one actually performed a lot better this was a $40 on the buy box right now which is pretty pretty solid right that's not bad and if we scroll down we can see the price action for this one on Keepa we can see that you could have got it for $12 back in summer of 2021 and then we see the price going up now throughout 2022 it was at 25 for a lot of the time but then it jumped at the end of the year to 30 now it's at 32 but but actually that's not showing the buy box so if we bring in the buy box here because the buy box can sometimes sell for higher prices than the lowest new, new price so even though there are people selling it for 33 right now uh, the buy box is at 42 50 40 and we see it right today at 40 and 90 percent of the sales on amazon go to the buy box whenever there is one so that's the real market price right there that's 40 dollars on the porsche 
at 9.11. That's actually pretty good. And that one performed good and it was a good investment if you bought that for $12. But it is the only one out of the four of those final wave of small speed champion sets that actually is a good good investment. The next one we look at here is the Chevrolet Camaro. So this is currently at $29 on Amazon. This was another one of those final wave of the six stud speed champion sets. If we go down and look at the price chart, we can see that you could have got it for somewhere around $12, almost, almost $13 at 12 at certain points. And this one sold out a little bit earlier. We see some stock issues throughout uh, 2021. It wasn't really in stock the whole time, but then it sold out for the last time just around the start of August, 2021. Now the price didn't go very far throughout 2021 at end of the year at 24. Um, right now, the lowest you can buy it for is 21. But if we bring in the buy box once again, we can see that the more kind of standard market price is somewhere around $29 right now. So the buy box, there's a big difference between, between the lowest price and the buy box. Uh, on this listing, but the buy box is around twenty nine dollars. So if you bought it for twelve, sold it for twenty nine, you know you're making a profit. But it's it, honestly, I would have expected more from the Camaro. And then the last of the six stud Speed Champion sets here in this list of four, and we're only doing the individual cars because Speed Champions also has double packs and different things. We're just looking at the individual cars here. So this is the McLaren Senna seven five eight nine two. This one is selling for almost twenty eight dollars at the buy box right here. And if we scroll down to the price chart, what do we see here for the last couple of years? We can see that you could have bought it in summer of 2021 for $12. And then we, we see some price growth over the, the following months, but then it flatlined for the whole of 2022. It didn't go very far. If we bring the buy box in here, we can see this purple line is the buy box. And it's at you know $30 for the last couple of months here. Now these sets will continue to grow in value. So if you invested in these sets, I wouldn't be worried, right? And firstly, you're not losing money on any of them. You're doing fine. Uh, you're making a little bit of profit. They're just not what I expected them to be as speed champion sets, because typically, you know, they can do a little bit better than this. But these sets were oversupplied, and that's really what happened here, is that you have an element of oversupply because they had six extra months on the shelf, and Lego investors, you know, Speed Champions investors were focused on those sets and not on the other, the new wave of eight stud sets. So people were buying these up and then the supply was increased and also the demand came down on these sets. Why did the demand come down? It came down because the collectability factor was reduced, right? And collectability is a big driver of demand on Lego sets. When you buy the Lego Star Wars Darth Vader helmet, you also are gonna wanna get the Stormtrooper helmet to put next to it on the shelf, right? And that's called collectability, when you want a set just because it belongs to a collection. And Speed Champion sets, they generally tend to have a ton of collectability. If you buy the McLaren Elva or the McLaren Senna, you're going to also want the Ferrari or the Camaro because they look great together on a shelf. And there's a ton of collectability with Speed Champions. But one of the things that drives collectability is when new sets are also released. Right. If a new set and a new wave of sets get released, it spurs the interest in collecting the old stuff. So with the Star Wars helmets, for example, when the new Leia or Luke or whatever helmet comes out, people want to go back and get the TIE Fighter pilot and the Stormtrooper helmet that have already retired because it spurs the collectability. It makes them re remember, I really got to finish this collection. I got to go find these sets on eBay before the price goes up even higher. And it, it drives even more FOMO and even more scarcity around the collection because of the new stuff that got released, right? It's all driven by that new stuff, that new part of the collection that, that is, is new and interesting. And there's a ton of marketing happening and the people, the Lego store employees are talking about it and everybody wants it. And so the new stuff drives collectability for the old stuff. But with Speed Champions, what happened here was it all changed because they went from the smaller sets to the bigger sets. And so when the bigger sets came out, the collectability to go back and get the smaller sets wasn't as strong. It did, it still existed because people still were interested in the smaller sets and they're still selling today, but it was not as strong because there's a difference in scale, there's a difference in design. You know, the sets look different. And so you're not gonna be as excited to go back and get the six stud sets so that you can display them next to your aid stud sets. So the collectability factor was reduced and the demand came down because of that. Meanwhile, the sets were oversupplied. And so those two factors together lead to the final wave of six stud speed champion sets underperforming as Lego investments overall. Now, honestly, this all could have been predicted because 
I actually sent out an email to my email list in 2021, in September 2021, and I kind of said this is exactly what's going to happen. I felt like the old wave of Speed Champion sets were going to be oversupplied, and the new wave of larger Speed Champion sets would be undersupplied because people were not focusing on them while they were out buying the old stuff. And so I honestly could see this happen. As a result, I stocked up heavily on the new wave of Speed Champion sets that we're about to look at. And so let's have a quick look at some of these new wave speed champion sets so these also retired in 2021 they retired six months later so we had the extended period of time where the old sets were still around but then they retired in the summer of 2021 and then another six months later at the end of 2021 these sets retired so we had three more speed champion sets retire and these are the first wave of the larger ones immediately as you can tell from the photo they look a lot better the designs are way better and these ones retail for twenty dollars but you could have got them for around 16 so you're paying 16 you know instead of the 12 that you were paying for for the other sets but if you bought these for 16 they were awesome investments for example this ferrari here is selling for 45 dollars right now now again this was the end of 2021 that they retired so just a year and three months ago right so it's not a long time to get a 16 dollar investment and sell it for 45 dollars so that's this ferrari fa tributo 76895 selling for 45 at the buy box right now this i think has actually come down a little bit recently uh it was at if i look right here on keep it it was a 50 right it was at 50 very recently so you bought it for 16 and you're selling it for 50 after you pay your selling fees and different things like that you're doing very very well so that is the ferrari fa tributo now compare that with the other ferrari the ferrari f40 and the differences in terms of that price growth next up we have the nissan gtr nismo this is the 76896 this one is selling for 48 right now and also i think this has also come down a little bit recently so if we look at this price history here on keepa we can see again you could have bought it for 16 dollars back in the end of 2021 uh, for a little period there it was selling for full msrp before it disappeared off the shelves soon into 2022 and then we had it now these sets did stay flat for a while so some people might have thought that they were underperforming throughout 2022 but then what happened was the supply or the demand caught up so heavily in q4 of 2022 that these sets just went crazy they just went to the moon so throughout the end of 2022 the demand was just insane on these sets and as a result the supply couldn't keep up because again the supply was lower while people were not buying enough of it before it retired and so we have this case where it went from 31 dollars at the end of 2022 uh, in uh, december the start of december to almost $50 by the end of December. That's over the course of a month. It jumped up to $50. Now, again, you could have bought this for $16 a year earlier. If I bring in the buy box, recently you could have been buying this, for, you could have been selling this for $60 recently, as we can see right there. Uh, you know, $58, pretty standard stuff in the last couple of months that you would have been selling these sets at. So the Nissan is an incredible farmer. You could have bought it for 16 and sold it for 60 at certain points for the last couple of months. And again, this is gonna get back up there pretty soon. Is it right now it's up 48, but it will get back there. And then the last one is the Audi. So the Audi is the other is the third of the individual first larger speed champion sets that got released retired once again at the end of 2021 could have bought it for 16 dollars and right now it's selling for 48 dollars on amazon now i bought 120 of each of these sets i wish i bought 200 of them uh, but they were just fantastic performers 48 dollars on the audi if i look at the price history on this one so i see once again you could have got it for 16 toward the end of uh, 2021 and then throughout 2022 it was a little bit flat for some time but it was still at 30 dollars. so you're still doing okay and you're kind of breaking even and then all of a sudden at the end of 2021 or 2022 i should say we had the jump and now it's up here and if i bring in the buy box we can see the buy box in the 50s 55 you know right here was at 60 so you were selling the audi for 60 having just bought it about 15 months earlier for 16 dollars so this first wave of eight stud lego speed champion sets was an insane investment all three of them were were fantastic investments and once again you could have predicted some of this stuff to happen because of the supply and demand factors that were coming into play here so the important lesson here is to always look at the supply and demand of the sets and what are expected or what you expect might happen another important lesson is make sure you sign up to my newsletter if you want some of those insights uh, and opportunities as i drop them right into your inbox now do i think that this is going to be the case for the next wave of speed champion sets 
I don't. I don't think that this is always going to be the case. I think that these sets were undersupplied because of the factors that I mentioned. People were focused on the last wave of the smaller sets and they weren't buying this one. And I think that the wave, the next wave will have more supply. And I also think there's a lot of excitement around the first wave of a lot of different sets. And we saw that with the Star Wars helmets as well and the performance of TIE Fighter Pilot and Stormtrooper. And, you know, the first wave sometimes are some of the big performers in in a theme. So I don't think we can just assume that Speed Champion sets are always going to perform this well in the future. And it remains to be seen because last year only one Speed Champion set retired. It was the McLaren Elva. And this year a whole host of them are retiring. So it remains to be seen what's going to happen with the lineup. But one thing is for sure, the history here of the first wave of 8 stud Speed Champion sets has been fantastic so far. But unfortunately the last wave of six studs have massively underperformed throughout the first almost two years of their retirement so what do you think did you buy any of these speed champion sets what are your thoughts let us know in the comments down below let's get that discussion going and once again make sure you hit that subscribe button when you're down there thank you so much for watching i'm shane from brickbucks.net and i will see you in the next one